welcome back to another video this really popped when i saw it that to me is a monster increase again this book got hot this book is ready to go higher so let's jump right into it we are back today with another statue review from diamond select toys without further ado let's get into the review Another week, another list. What is going on, YouTube? I am your host, Lawrence at Mighty Comics and Collectibles, and thank you for joining me for another video here on the channel. Today, it's my favorite video, the Hot 10 Breakdown of the Week. If you guys aren't familiar with what I do in this video, I take the 10 hottest comics according to the Key Collector app, and I break them down for you one by one, telling you guys out there if I'm buying these books at these prices or staying the hell away. Again, if you're not a current subscriber of the channel, I want you to do me a favor. Go ahead, click that sub button for me, smash that like button. You guys know once we hit 5,000 subs and we're almost there, I am giving away an Iron Man 1. One more piece of business. If you guys are interested, I got some awesome new merch for sale. Check down below some great stuff that are limited quantities. So do me a favor, check it out. Without further ado, let's get into this week's breakdown. At the 10 spot this week is a copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 2 and the second team appearance of the TMNT, but this is also the first appearance of April O'Neil and a CGC 9.8 just sold last week for $3,330 up a crazy 32% over the average. We also had a CGC 9.4 sale for $771 up 21% over the average. All of a sudden these TMNT books are starting to get hot again. I'm a TMNT fan, but I don't want to spend the crazy amounts of money that these are going for. Again, if you are and you want to own them, do me a favor, go ahead and pick them up. But for me, it's a no-go. At the ninth spot this week is a copy of Uncanny X-Men number 266 and the second appearance of Gambit. You guys heard that right. Key Collector and also CGC are now calling this the second appearance of Gambit. But guess what? It's the first cover appearance of Gambit and a CGC. 9.8 just sold last week for 850 bucks up five percent over the average this book was on the list last week i told you i am a buyer of a 9.8 grade only so keep that in your head again a lot of the books were printed well back in the 90s late 80s i love the character i think they're going to use them sooner rather than later when they get to the x-men but either way i'm only a buyer at a 9.8 i'm giving it a thumbs up at number eight this week is a copy of star wars number 68 and the first mention of the mandalorians there also is a boba fett brief appearance in flashback in a cgc 9.6 just sold last week for 370 bucks up five percent over the average we also had a cgc 9.2 sale for 225 dollars up 15 percent over the average you guys know i recently picked up this book in mid to high grade again a book i wanted to add to the collection but i don't want to go out and spend a crazy amount of money on this book if you're a super crazy star wars fan maybe you want a high grade copy for me it was just good enough to have it in the collection i am a buyer of it but i just don't want to spend a crazy amount of money on this book at number seven this week is another star wars key it is star wars canaan the last padawan issue number six of course this is the first full appearance of sabine wren a mandalorian and also the first ezra bridger and hira sindala i don't know if i'm pronouncing those right but either way a lot of first appearances in this book and a cgc 9.8 just sold last week for 549 bucks up 27 percent over the average you guys know i'm not a modern star wars collector i don't even know most of these characters featured in this book However, I know a lot of you out there are. I would suggest if you want to own this book, only grabbing a 9.8, even though it's probably worth a ton of money at this point. I'm not into the spec game, but if you are, just be very careful. At the sixth spot this week is a copy of Daredevil number 183 and the first battle between Daredevil and the Punisher and a CGC. 9.8 just sold the prior week for 290 bucks up 14 percent over the average again if you're a punisher fan and you're a daredevil fan probably a book you definitely want in the collection especially because of this awesome cover me personally i don't want to cough up almost 300 dollars for a 9.8 it's a cool book i want my collection but hey if i can get a 90 or a 92 for around 100 bucks that's really the max i want to spend on this issue i just want to own it Coming in at number five on this list is a copy of Incredible Hulk number 271 and the second appearance and first cover appearance of Rocket Raccoon. Of course, his first issue was in a magazine sized comic book and a CGC 5.5 just sold last week for 138 bucks, up 22% since June. 
We also had a CGC 7.5 cell for $150, up 10% over the average. Again, with Guardians of the Galaxy now ending with the last movie in this trilogy, I'm not sure how many people out there want to go out and buy this book. However, if you're a huge Rocket Raccoon fan and you want this in the collection, I probably don't want to spend more than $100 on this book. I just don't think it's worth it but it's a cool key to have in your collection. At the fourth spot on this list is a copy of Shazam number one and the first appearance of Captain Marvel since the golden age, of course now referred to as Shazam in a CGC. 9.6 just sold last week for 250 bucks up nine percent over the average we also had a cgc 9.0 sale for 150 bucks up 40 percent over the average again this book's still heating up right now even the movie did not do that great regardless again i said last week i want all this book around an 8.0 or higher but just do yourself a favor don't spend a lot of money in this book it's just a cool book we don't want to throw on big amounts of money on books that aren't worth the price again you should own certain books in your collection, in my opinion, but they shouldn't be breaking the bank. This is one of them. At number three this week is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 33 and this awesome cover by Steve Ditko and a CGC. 9.8 just sold last week for an insane 10,800 bucks up 11% over the average. We also had a CGC 2.0 sale for only 200 bucks up a whopping 48% over the average i'm not too sure why this book is all of a sudden doubling overnight regardless you guys know i'm a huge amazing spider-man fan you have to own this book it doesn't need to be a 9.8 i think anything over a 2.5 or higher is really great to have in your collection again not an investment book just an awesome cover and a great comic that you should own Coming in at number two this week is a copy of Flash number 123 and the first appearance of the Golden Age Flash in the Silver Age and a CGC 6.5 just sold last week for 2,500 bucks up 12% over the average and a CGC 1.0 sale just sold for 490 bucks up 10% over the average. You guys know a lot of Flash keys are really going up in price along with everything in DC right now. I said it on my last eBay video, buy the best of the best when it comes to DC books. Do I want to own this book? Me personally, no. I'm not a huge Flash fan, but I know a lot of you out there are. Again, this is one of the better Flash keys I'd own right now. So yes, I'm giving it a thumbs up if you're interested. And at the top spot this week, what else? Another Star Wars key. It is Star Wars Heir to the Empire number one and the first appearance of Admiral Thrawn and Mara Jade, the wife of Luke Skywalker and a CGC. 9.8 just sold last week for a whopping 1425 bucks of 36 percent over the average now anytime they announce anything new star wars either on disney plus or new movies coming out these books start to spike especially the modern keys again you have to be very careful in when you're buying and what you're buying for me i said it before I'm not a modern age Star Wars collector, but if you are, just be very careful. It's a thumbs down for me, but maybe you might be interested. Hope you guys enjoyed this list. Some new books on the list, but a lot of modern stuff, which is really just doesn't interest me. Again, modern books, in my opinion, are made to be read. And there's some awesome covers out there as well. It is now time for my best buy of the week. And you guys know if there's a Spidey book on here, that is my best buy. So I'm going with Amazing Spider-Man number 33. And you don't need to break the bank on this one, but it's an awesome book. I think everybody should own. Hope you guys enjoyed this list. This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles saying thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.